Hey everyone, let's take a look at two really interesting watches that are a uh, recent release from Citizen. Um, they are available, at least in Europe. Um, I don't believe they're available in America. Maybe they're available in Asia. These are two different variants of the BM7570 series. This uh, one on the left is the Dash 80X, and believe it or not, it's actually a really dark green. And the one on the right is a Dash 80L. There's also a silver um, variant and a black variant. Um, but I, I thought I would pick up two of them um, and decide which one I liked more. Um, because I was really surprised that there's not a single review of these online anywhere. There, there isn't even a picture of them on somebody's wrist um, or, or any passing video, really. So I wanted to get a, a closer look, and I figured other people would, too. So um, I'm not a watch reviewer. Um, I'm just a hobbyist. I have a different full-time job, but um, I thought I would, um, yeah, pick them up and make a kind of a review of something a little new. So that's kind of a first for me. So why don't we, well, where to start? Um, let's, they have the same movement, so I think it, it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, these really caught my eye because, so my camera, it will focus really well on one thing that you put in front of it, but it really caught my eye because I think most citizens tend to be kind of loud and, and busy. Most of them are chronographs. Um, some of them I, I love. Actually, I love Citizen as a whole, if you look at the other videos I've had in the past. But um, yeah, I think most of them are overdone. But when they do it right, they do it right. And this one just had the right mix of um, boldness and simplicity. So what to say about specs? Um, this is a sapphire crystal, so it checks off some boxes. It's a titanium case. Um, you know, some luxury brands, they go on and on about how they have a new titanium watch and how amazing it is. But Citizens, Citizens make the, they made the first titanium watch ever um, in the 70s. So they are exceptionally good at it. And it's not only a titanium watch, but I believe it says it has Duratec, and that's their surface hardening. Um, there's actually different versions of Duratec. They're either like treatments or tempering or coatings. But it makes it a little more durable. Um, Titanium is incredibly lightweight, but also scratches very easily. And Duratec tends to work. So you have this really nice titanium case. You have this pretty nice brushing. You know, it's horizontal brushing here. You have this nice vertical brushing there on the uh, on the lugs there, or rather, they're circular. Um, and you have this polished lip. They just do a really good job and. This is not a thousand dollar watch by any means. This is, um, I think these are between two and three hundred dollars I paid. Um, pretty exceptional. The bracelet is solid links of titanium. The end links are solid. You know, the one spec wise, um, I guess, disappointment is that the clasp is uh, pressed, but it is full titanium. A lot of titanium watches, they have a milled clasp, but that uh, clasp is steel. And honestly, of all the things, you know, when you're wearing this, you don't notice that. So I thought it was a very attractive dial. I'm going to try to get in close in case I didn't do a good job before. But you have these really cool railroad tracks around the outside. It has this classic vibe to it. Really nice sword hands. A distinct um, red-tipped second hand. Um, yeah, I think it's just a simple, straightforward, elegant wash. Um, one other thing I really like is that all these numerals, they're not just um, large and visible, but they are fully loomed. So I can't really make the room pitch black, but I can show you what's loomed and what isn't. So the second hand has loom on it. That's not always the case. And every numeral here as well. Um, look at the blue dial. Now the blue dial, um, not only is it blue, but you can see only the even numerals are displayed and the rest are these patterns. I, I kind of like that. Uh, the black variant of this watch has this sort of pattern to it where it's only the even numerals and the silver variant of the watch um, is like this with all with all the indices. Um, I actually almost got the silver one. It looked really cool and the numerals they have like a dark outline so it, it had a good amount of contrast on it but I, I do like color so. Um, one thing that you really don't see in this video is, as I said, this is technically a green dial. Most of the time it looks like a really dark gray. 
um, and I don't have any direct sunlight. I did it about an hour ago, so I, I thought I would have ca caught it. But in direct sunlight, you go, whoa, yeah, that, that is a green dial. And um, you can kind of see it now. There's like a, a green tint to this dark gray dial. But yeah, of course, they're EcoDrive. Uh, that's solar power in uh, citizen parlance. Really, really cool. I think it's a very attractive watch. Get some dimensions. They're, I mean, for Citizen, they're not too absurdly large. They're 42 millimeters. Um, uh, so they're not 44, 45, and a lot of Citizen watches are, they tend to run large. Um, they're a successful company, and that's what you need to do to succeed. People love large watches, and most people buying watches are not watch enthusiasts. So I'm wearing another titanium um, citizen I love this watch oh by the way um, if you happen to like citizen or Japanese watches in general um, consider subscribing I have a whole bunch of videos in the past take a look at them and I'm making more I'm, I'm trying to make like my goal is to make two a week but I think it's overall a very attractive watch um, I have a seven and a half inch wrist and that fits pretty well I mean it's not 38 mil like a lot of you know, more enthusiasts kind of want the smaller size watches, but um, they could have very easily have made a 44, 45 mil, and I'm glad they didn't. It looks really nice. I like the bracelet. Um, is it? I didn't resize them. In fact, I think that's the first time I actually put it on. I only just recently got them. No, that's pin and collar, so that's better than split pin at the very least. Um, what else to say? Yeah, 42. Get its thickness. Ten and a half, that's pretty thin. And 50 mil lug to lug, so you know, larger than, you know, fitting for 42. But overall, I think that's a very attractive watch. And hmm, what else is there to say in a watch? Um, good material, pretty good build quality. Um, most citizens I have tend to hit their marks just perfectly. And you can see the one on the left, it's just spot on. Um, the blue one is less so. And it depends on what part of the dial. Um, but yeah, really cool. Um, hopefully if you were looking into picking one of these up, um, maybe you've come across them and you typed their model name and came across this. Uh, if I helped you, you should like and uh, subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That would be really cool. I just hit 150. Um, but and I and maybe you like the sound of my voice and you like the way I review things, um, or you like these types of watches, budget every day, mostly quartz, but not all. Yeah, let's get some final close-ups. I'm not so good at remembering to give people that. Oh, you see my fan. I should have mentioned, it's a sunburst dial. And you see my window there. But yeah, really, really cool. I don't know which one I should keep. How about that? I'll ask people to comment. Which one do you like more? The green, the blue, or do you think the black or the silver versions are the right ones to get? All right, so leave that down below. All right, thank you very much. Take care.